how's it going traders? Your boy TJ back with another video today. I'm going over all of last week's trades that was caught on the free trading group. I want to show you my analysis. I think it's important for me to tell you my actual goal strategy as well. How I execute my trades in and out. Maintain my psychology to keep my risk to reward insane but also to not lose my funded accounts. If you are new around here and you do enjoy this video, make sure to join up the free trading group. Insane profits to be to be said, I'm not going to lie, 10 pip sells are very hard, sometimes I move to 20 pips. We could even have 30, 40 pips and play it safe, something that we might go into new year doing so we can get an insane, you know, 20, 30 win streak instead of winning a couple trades and then hitting an SL. I'm just going to go straight into it, but firstly, I want to say thank you for the support on my main channel. The shorts I upload every single day has been absolutely popping off recently. Thousands of views on the shorts every single day. Make sure to check it out. Without further ado, let's go, baby. If you are taking the trades in the free trading group, make sure to use 0.51% risk at each time. Don't over enter into the trades. If there's multiple take profits, there's no need to enter into four of them, three of them, two of them. I try my best not to do the maximum take profits now where there's one, two, three, four. So people aren't over trading. You need to learn in order to be successful, you have to have an organized trading strategy and trading plan where you are winning more trades than you're losing or if you are losing more trades than you win, the wins are greater R to R, which is risk to reward than your losses. Remember, trading isn't an everyday game. You don't have to trade every single day. Once a week's fine. The whole concept of trading every day is a gambling mindset, so please don't. And if you are looking to maximize your profits, then obviously risking higher volumes of lot sizes isn't the way forward. Manage your risk. Just make the profit. Money's money. Try not to get greedy, greed kills you. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. But if you haven't joined and you're still watching this video and you're about to watch the analysis, then click the link in the description, join up to the free Telegram group. There's 2,200 people in there now. And let's get into this. At the start of the week, we entered sales, got closed out for break even, which is around here. But then I, I got jumped straight back in. As you can see, I've already got it mapped out. Price retracement, previous highs, previous high lows couldn't make up broke out of the previous 1800 to 123 touch so this was a break and retest we're going to retest back down probably to the impulsive highs which is around here which we saw and then we saw a wick out 1777 now 1790 sells easy tp smashed on this one but we closed out for 70 pips claiming a plus seven percent which is huge huge gains now stayed away from the markets until the next day even though we took another another minus one at 1781 here we tried to get in at 1718 area where our tp was but we saw the wick out at 1777 therefore taking minus one minus two percent potentially on that trade i like to be authentic you know we did catch ourselves for the buys but probably took seven percent here and then lost two percent which means a plus five percent day overall which is still good and you need to understand you can't, don't need to over trade that's enough for the week that's enough for the month but your boy tj doesn't stop there because guess what he does your boy tj he gets in where does he get in 17 where's your where's your boy tj getting entry 17 8150 i call this on stream 17 8150 closed for 80 pips as well which is quite a lot it's eight percent meaning we only made seven percent and this is this is on the 13th now so you know we have we've waited a fair bit but not too long and if i just click this button right here you will see the unbelievable happens look at this bang bang haven't been tapped out yet still in the trade but what are we doing lower high has been staggered and then prediction which is calculated here previous lower high high respected after this we see respection then respecting again of the lower high high pulls and then obviously the breakout all the way to where 1824 1824 man crazy bias which i could have held on could have held on i was aiming for 1812 up back up here but we broke completely out all the way to 1820 which is insane stuff so now 
you know, plus 5% if you include the two losses, plus another 7 8%. percent that's a 12 13% week, and we're only on December the 13th, which is Tuesday. Now, after this, I ended up getting in buyers at 1806, which was here, mapped out already. Now, on the 1H, we saw pushes up 1, 2, 3. This is the 1, 2, 3 impulse. Lower high staggers, bang, touch. Then pullbacks, then buys. So therefore, the next re retracement zone is the previous breakout, which is here. What happens? Catch buys, 1806. Entry, SL1805, keeping the 10 pepper sells because they're very, very tight. And all this is is market direction. I'm just following the trend of the market. It's kind of crazy how much money you can make. 18, 20 profit. I wanted to retest back at the bodies and I will show you after this. That's where we're going to retrace back to now. We're at 1797, as you can see in the top right. It's Monday morning right now. Um, 9.54 a.m. I'm making this video for today. But we're running plus 60 pips on this trade. And I moved SL to entry. Look at the sniper entry, by the way. Boom. SL to entry. And then what happened to SL entry? Nothing. Because I closed for plus 70 pips. So just shy. 18.06. To 1813 seven percent collected another seven percent that's about 17 20 percent now i'm up in free trades only taking a couple losses and then this is where it gets bad and i'm looking through the group right now and it doesn't actually get bad but i ch i trade a few times that week continue to trade take a few losses on the same day of that profit minus two minus three percent then i catch another buy 1804 but clearly it wasn't the correct way so i went plus 70 pips but so at entry and then so closed out because i wanted to show you this then after 1806 what happens we start to see sales back down to around the 1790 area and the crazy thing is about this trade is that if i quickly get rid of the replay mode after this trade that we closed we saw failing to make new highs and then sells all the way down to 1773 where we call buys. And this is this is the end of the week. We end up catching buys on the Friday. I made insane amounts of profit, but people in the group weren't, some people in the group weren't even in this. So it's give or take, which is why I've not actually counted it as a huge percentage. But I was in this trade. I told everyone to get into it. it was waiting for a while. We took about 3%, minus 3% trying to cash this trade. And then yeah, finally caught it in the end. Now it's Monday morning, I'm catching sells, then buys back up to 18.20, retesting the bodies. We're going to see it pull back, 1, 2, 3. We're still bullish over in the market direction as well. 1, 2, 3, pulls up, pull back. This is a bigger pullback, but we still haven't broken out below. It's a lower high to 70.45 or 17.54. So therefore, I'm trying to catch buys back to 18.24, retest up here which is a good little zone to have. And then on this retest, we'll catch sales to 17.50. Who knows what's gonna happen, but I'm trying to catch these quick sales, lower, high, high retest zone here. 17.80 buys to 18.20, which is 400 pips, 10 pips per sell, 40 to one risk reward. If you are new around here, like and subscribe to my content. I upload all the time. I'm 2023 is my level up. Mindset's changed now. I'm pumping out content. I'm motivated to trade as much as I can make as people as much profit as possible and just show genuine results and just be realistic and and show everything you know i've got nothing to hide so join up it's all free link is in the description until next time i'll catch you all in a bit peace